There are no individual Baha'is in the world who have a spiritual station distinct from anyone else. The members of the House of Justice, as individual people, are no different than any other Baha'i in the world. We may respect them out of their knowledge, out of our personal love for them, just like we would respect someone else out of our personal love for them. There is no one in this who has a spiritual station. When Dr. Barba, the last remaining hand of the cause, passed away, he was the last remaining human being in this dispensation who had a spiritual station that was exalted. The hands of the cause had a spiritual station that was exalted. It was different. And historians in the future will expound upon that and what, who, what, and who the hands were and what they did in their station. We'll, we'll have that expounded upon in the future. But now, nobody has a spiritual station. Nobody has a, a distinctive station above anyone else. And I use this example often. Imagine you're sitting at the table in Portugal, and you have a member of the House of Justice sitting at the table. You're privileged there. And you have the, who's your counselor? One of your counselors. Who's your counselor? Right. Right. Okay, so you have your, your counselor sitting at the table, for the counselor for this area. Right? And you have a couple other Baha'is sitting around and trying to do, trying to make a plan for something. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And everyone's giving their opinion. And the member of the House of Justice, with zeal and, and, and sincerity, says, you know, I think we ought to do X, Y, Z. If they have, you know, here's a way we ought to think about this. He says that. And the counselor says something completely different. Whose opinion has weight? <laughs> Whose opinion must we adhere, and not adhere to, but weigh Sir. deeply? The counselor. the counselor. Because they have the position of, that is their job, as the counselor to this area. And therefore we must listen and weigh deeply their opinion, because that is part of our job as the believers. And, the, and if the National Assembly were meeting, and the counselor gave them uh, some advice, they would have to weigh that deeply. The member of the House of Justice, we may respect, we may consider that. Don't get me wrong, we're not going to just dismiss it. But in the context of the administration, unless the member of the House of Justice was giving us, was representing the House of Justice, if he was representing the House of Justice, this would be a completely different story. But unless the member is representing the House of Justice, that individual's opinion is like everyone else's. With the counselor's opinion, we must weigh deeply. Can you kindly now, I think very important, to qualify that with regard to the situations that have arisen where the, our beloved House of Justice has sent their representative out into the world to speak on their behalf? Well, when, when the representative comes to the House of Justice and says, we're representing the House, then that is the House. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's very obvious. That is the House, because he's not speaking as an individual. He's saying, this is what the House wants. <coughs> here it is. I'm here, and they sent me to give you this message. That is the House. Now, if there's opinions about that, that's separate. But having known members of the House, they will give an opinion about that. If they're representing the House, they will give the message to the House, and that's it. That's it. Then they'll look at the council and say, what's your opinion? Really. They're very, they're very disciplined in this, in this regard. So it's important for us to understand that from the administrative function how these things work. You know, we do have, administratively, we do have rank in the faith. You know what I mean by rank? A level of authority, if you will. We have that in the faith. Protocol. 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 So for example, we know we have to be obedient to the institution of the rulers. The National Spiritual Assembly, the local spiritual assembly, we have to be obedient. But the National Spiritual Assembly has a rank lower than the rank of the council. 
with regards to protocol. But their rank is above the rank of an auxiliary board member with regards to protocol. And it's a matter of scope. Now, if you have a social event and you have to set the table and people have to sit in a certain manner, protocol comes into play. These are, these are subtleties. Not, not a big deal, but there's subtleties. It's things that we should at least contemplate and, and, and reflect on and understand. Because the counselor's domain of service is cross nations. It's continental. Right? National Spiritual Assembly is only within their own domain. They can't make decisions. The National Spiritual Assembly, who we love and, and cherish in Portugal, cannot make decisions for my country in Croatia. What they decide has nothing to do with mine. Right? But the council does. 